Hey everyone, in today's lesson, we'll be looking at finding rules for number patterns. So let's have a look at question 1a. For each number pattern, find the eighth term, find a formula for the nth term t, and you then use the formula to find the eighth term and 20th term. So in question a, we've got a number pattern here, which has 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So to find the eighth term, we just have to list the next three, because there's five numbers already. And this goes up by two, basically. So if we add two to these numbers here, okay, every single time to get to the next one, we'll get 11, then 13, and then 15. So 15 is our eighth term. Okay, then we go to our second part, which says find a formula for the nth term. So to find out the nth term t, which is the rule, we firstly have to draw a table Okay, and I've drawn up to um, the first three numbers. And basically, this top row, which represents n values, that represents position. So basically, for the first position, we've got number one. Okay, so I'm going to write that down, number one. For the second position, I've got the number three, which is this one here. Okay, then for position three, I've got number five. Okay, now what I'm going to do is from this table of values, I'm going to generate the rule. So to do that, okay, what we're going to do is we look at what is it going up by at the very bottom from term to term, which we know was 2 before. And what we say is the rule is going to be this, okay, the rule is going to be t, I'm just going to use the other pen, t is equal to 2n, but then there's a little something after that, okay, which we don't know, all right? And what we're going to do here is we test out a value. So if we test out n as 1, then we would get out t equals to 2 times 1, okay, with something here, and that produces a t value of 1. Okay? So what do I need to put here in order for this number sentence to become 1? Well, 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, we know that. This is going to be 2. But we've got to minus that by 1 to get that 1 there. So that means our formula is going to be 2n minus 1. All right. How do I find out T8 for part three? Well, I've already got my formula here, and this will produce any kind of value given that I tell you the position of the term. So I need to substitute in n here as my eighth term. That would mean that I'll have 2 times 8 minus 1. Uh, 2 times 8 is 16. Minus 1 is 15. Whereas if I do... 2 times 20 now for the 20th term, and I'll put it in here, I'll get 2 times 20 minus 1, and 2 times 20 is 40, 40 minus 1 is 39, and that's how you do that. Right, now let's have a look at a similar piece of working out for question C. So for C, you've got now the numbers 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Okay. So this still goes up by a value of 2. So that means, if I just use my other pen here. Uh, so if this goes up by 2, then I guess the next number will be 18, then 20, then 22. Okay, and then 22 will be my term. Okay, now let's have a look at how to find our formula for this set of values. So, remember our first position represents number 8. Okay, and then our second position here is 10, and the third one is 12. So, it's important to fill in this table of values first. And then we can see that this goes up by 2, right? So what this means is, 
our formula where e, t equals to 2n, first of all. So whatever this number goes up by is placed here before the n. And we might have something after that, like a plus a minus of a number. So we're going to test that out. So in order to do that, I'll just choose a pair of values here. So last time I chose this first pair, this time what I'll do is I'll choose this pair maybe, okay? So if I test that out, um, if I do t equals to 2n, where n in this case is 2, okay? I need to plus or minus it by something to make that equal to that number, which is 10. Okay, so at the moment, this is going to be 4. And what do we need to do to a 4 to get to 10? Well, we need to add another 6. So the rule here is 2n plus 6. Okay, I'll write that in another color. So then if I substituted n as 1 into this formula, I should get 8. Okay, because 2 times 1 plus 6 is 8. Then if I do n as 3, then 2 times 3 plus 6 should give me 12, which is this number here. Okay, so this is indeed the right formula. So now that I have the formula, I can find out what the 8th term is. So I can substitute in n here as number 8, and that will be 2 times 8 plus 6. Okay, which is going to give us... 16 plus 6, uh, and that's 22. Whereas T20, the 20th term, we get by doing 2 times of n, substituted in with 20. So 2 times 20 plus 6 will give me 46. Okay, that's the 40. That, that 46 is our 20th term. Right. So now that I've done A and C, you can do B and D. Uh, B goes up by 2 and D goes up by 3. So I'm just letting you know that when you do this part of the question, part 2, for this part of the question, you will get something like T equals to 3N plus or minus something. Okay, you just got to find that something. 